Hi guys, welcome back. I'm finally gonna do a book review, so here it is. Um, A Breath of Air by Eve Marie Mont. I received this arc from Kensington's book, so thank you very much because I love this book. And I guess let's just start. Wait, first I have to talk about the cover. Um, I am. I, I do like how it's kind of different ish, but I don't like dress in it. Uh, it was very, very, I don't know if you can see, but it's very value village like. It's very cheap, but I don't, I guess it doesn't really matter because the book was amazing and I know that they are on a budget. They're not like some crazy, um, really high budget kind of photo shoot and stuff. So I don't mind, but I just want to say that, yeah. So I'm guessing, but the next few covers, they, they look okay, yeah. So I guess let's begin. Um, first of all, I guess I should talk about how Eve created all the characters. Eve's writing was amazing. It was pure bliss to read what she wrote and all that. I mean, she described Emma as really a sophisticated and mature teenager, which I really, really, really do enjoy because a lot of why like authors try to be teenagers and then that is so not not good. They all sound so forced, but Eve created this character that is just like so strong and portrays teenagers really well. I'm like, we as teenagers aren't always the whiny character that I would just always think about just, just I don't know, drama and all that. We are sophisticated, we're mature, and we can actually think for ourselves. Um, and this was really um the kind of the tone of the sophistication tone, I guess I'm not even know what I'm talking about, but it was definitely a really apparent in the Jane Eyre kind of reality in the in the novel, in the parts of Jane Eyre, I guess. It and it was really, really nice and I feel like she really took on the Jane Eyre perspective perspective and character really well and I really really enjoy that. Um with that said, in the normal reality life of Emma, the main character, there are school drama, there are girls kind of being bitches, there are just typical kind of um school drama, which personally I have not been I don't know, just high school just never been that bad for me. So um, this is a typical kind of TV or books kind of drama where there's gossip and everything. So I still like that because it kind of still held true to basically some of the real life teenager kind of stuff. So I like that. Even though there's mature and sophisticated parts of it. Um, that was, um, um, I guess Emma. Really being really mature and being reasonable with everything. So I really like that. And I really, I guess, love Emma, which is the main character, which I don't really like. I mean, I'm reading Divergent, and I'm, I don't know, I am kind of about Trish. So with enough of Divergent, let's get back to A Breath of Air, I guess. Um, and then there's another character called Grey, which is a guy character that was like Emma's best friend since like little kid and all that, and he, of course, of course he is popular and amazing. And, um, Gray is, like, described as this really good-looking guy, and really popular, with a kind of, like, I don't know, mysterious past and all that. And he's kind of, like, the bad boy. Which is funny, because he kind of reminded me, like, physically reminded me of Rafael Nadal. Good-looking, tan skin, with, like, dog tags and everything, and hanging around his amazing chest and all that. Um, but, um, he's like the bad boy, so, which Rafael and I know is not, but anyway, uh, and he's described as the silent swimmer, and I was like, oh, swimmers. And he had, like, Michael Phelps poster on his lawn, it's really funny, that made me laugh so hard. Um, uh, but, being described as the silent swimmer, oh, that is just so, oh, so amazing. And it totally reminded me of Aqualife on Young Justice, Caldor, you were definitely the first thing that popped into my mind when I, read that part and I was like, oh, good looking. And I totally imagine, like, just picture Aqualad coming out of water last episode and I was like, oh. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to check out my blog post and you can see a gif of that. And you can see 
really good looking Raphael Nadal posing for Amani jeans, and yes, that there's a picture of that too, and me nose bleeding, yeah, basically. Um, anyway, um, that was grey, really good looking. Um, there's Michelle, which is, um, Emma's best friend from Lockwood, and she gets a shit, get, uh, she gets a shit for everything, I swear to God, she got blamed for basically everything, and I felt so bad for her, I was like, but she was really strong, so I was like, oh, I love you, Michelle, I, you get a standing ovation and me bowing down to you, because you get, like, crap delivered to you, and then you're still being so strong. And then there's Owen, which is basically Michelle's kind of guy and stuff. And he's really sweet and really, like, Wally-like, so I really enjoyed that. And the romance of this novel, I guess. Let's talk about that. Mm. The romance was really complex. Oh my god, it was really complex. I mean, Emma, there were a lot of guys that Emma liked. And in the beginning, I was like, whoa, seriously, I don't know who you're going to end up with because there are a lot of good guys here. And then they all fitted Emma really well. And not like kind of House of Night, oh, 10 bazillion guy, I want to, you know, whatever. And all that gross kind of stuff. No, it wasn't like that. It was actually really just so many dis like choices. They're all so nice and they all fitted Emma really well. And personality-wise, they were just so good. I mean, Mr. Rochester, I believe, I cannot even pronounce his name, but, like, from the main guy from Jane Eyre. And he was nice, and you're like, okay, is Emma gonna stay with him? Like, oh, they they look, they look cute. I mean, I mean, it's basically Jane Eyre and Mr. Rochester. I mean, they're cute. They're cute, you have to admit. And then there's, of, of course, um, I don't know the guy's name, I'm so bad. The, the teacher, Gallagher, whatever... Why am I not remembering his name? This is awkward. But him, he's like, I guess, the Rochester of the real life reality part of it. And he was really sweet as well. And I'm like, oh, God, are you kidding me? And of course, it's great. And I'm like, what? Like, they all fitted Emma really well. And I did not know who Emma going to end up with until I hit, like, basically the parts where Emma realized, oh, I'm going to be with him. He's the one. He is the one I actually have feelings for, and I was like, OTP, yes, OTP, book OTP, which is right beside Reina and Tara from a Poseidon, because they are so cute, um, but then, when I was like, ship them, I ship them OTP, and then some shit happened, and like, my emotions, my feelings, and everything, they got destroyed, because I was like, oh, shit's happened, this, this book was like, emotional roller coaster that, yeah, you have to be prepared for it. And I was like, and it was really true, I guess, to basically life. I mean, life is not perfect, and there are a lot of shits happening. And I really, really, really enjoy that. And I also talked about a lot of kind of being strong and being kind of able to have pain deal with you, dealt to you, and but then you still being strong and being being able to forgive, I mean, that's just so amazing, and I'm, I'm watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and that, that's a lot of things that gets on, I mean, happening in that animation as well, and it made me cry so, like, a little baby, and then I'm not gonna talk about it, because that makes me want to cry. Anyway, so there were a lot of, the plots were very kind of unpredictable. I was basically legit beginning with this book. I was like 25% through. I'm like, what? This book is not over. Where are you going to go with it? Because it's almost over. But then, no, it wasn't. And, and I'm so glad it wasn't because I was like, it's going to be, if I had written this book, it's going to be over about uh, page 72. Um, but then I really enjoy how Eve kind of created more stuff to it. And I really, really like it. So thank you, Eve, for writing, like, basically this novel and amazing. There were also amazing um, romantic parts to this novel, because there were a lot of emotional, romantic things, and all that kind of... Okay, my sister's calling me for Euro, so I'll be right back for a second. Ah, oh, crap! Okay, I know you're calling me! And, yes. Back again. So, romantic parts. Um... It really reminded me a lot of kind of Nicholas Spark movie scene with the so just romantic parts that there were a lot of that and there were a lot of quotes that were amazing but I can't quote it because it's an arc and I'm too lazy to get a finished copy. Yes, um, I'm lazy. But okay, um let's see. There weren't 
kind of the characters and the plot were dragging like oh like kind of forced into writing more they were just perfect and it seemed like eve planned a lot of things because a lot of things i'm like oh my god it connects back to whatever whatever and it was just amazing and it was just wow um very very nice read i read i mean read i guess um very very nice book to read um just such an amazing kind of lifting and kind of realizing all that kind of inspirational kind of book and yes i cannot wait for the second and the third book which is second book is a touch of scarlet and the third book is the a phantom enchantment which are you kidding me a phantom enchantment i'm waiting for you because you better come to me because you eve oh you know me too well anyway so i cannot wait for that i definitely recommend this book because it was fabulous, like fabulous. Are you kidding me? This is like fabulous. It's totally. Okay, now I'm just like ranting and don't know what to say. But I really definitely recommend this. And five fires overall, everything amazing. And I got a uh, basically a bolt because Euro 2012 started and it's Portugal versus Spain. Hello, amazingness. So I'll be right back. I not be right back. What am I talking about? See you guys next time. Um, hoping that I'll film a Korra finale episode kind of thing soon, but I have not watched it. I am like totally behind schedule. But anyway, let's just go. Bye.